Welcome back, Zero K fans, to Nano Lathes Are Done. This is once again Shadow Fury 333 with a match between Rar and Shaman. Exhibition match on Obsidian. Which is a map that unfortunately has some minor graphical issues, but no matter. It has some really sick grass. Seriously, LSD is not a fertilizer. That aside, let's get to the game itself. So, Rar going for Amphib, while Shaman going for Jumpbot Factory. Sorry, Spiderbot Factory. This map, as you can see, is very hilly. Like, very, very ridiculously, absurdly hilly. Also shiny. But mostly hilly. Ridiculously, absurdly shiny. So, spiders are handy. Amphibs can work. I mean, I think any bot can actually path along here, but amphib pathing is about the same as every other bot pathing. So, yeah, it works. No real problems. It's a bit slower, though. That's the one thing. But, let's see, Spider versus Amphib. I think... This matchup came up before, as I recall. It was actually a Spider versus Amphib match on Isle of Grief last week that I casted between Google Frog and Aquanim. And that was an odd map. Well, an odd match. The map itself was kind of typical, but that was an odd match. And Shaman... Going for a pretty stand... They're going for standard play. Shaman, aren't you going for standard play? I mean, admittedly, Spiders isn't the most standard, but it's still relatively standard. Shaman's not the person to go for standard play. They have a tendency to go for more trolly play, I guess you could say. But they might be playing serious this time. I don't know. Like, there are a couple players that I've found that are different. Shaman is one of them more because they want to do something silly, because they get bored easily. And Dorsh is someone who is, I think, more because they're just experimental. They just like to try things, and they do things that are unexpected. But we're not we're talking about them, we're talking about Shaman. Shaman does things because they're bored. But going for Spider is kind of different. Venom Hermit, though, is typical. That is a strong, fairly robust strategy. You can, just, you can deal with most things coming out of here, especially given that, I mean, Boy is going to be coming out next. Boys are a bit of a problem, but Hermits have a lot of health. They can deal with that. Oh, I haven't really seen Spider-Book play, play 1v1 much, so I don't really know how they play. I've seen them play it a bit, but I can't remember offhand them being particularly experimental or just absurd. I'm really liking that word today. You may have noticed. It's, it's the LSD grass. Yeah, that just makes everything absurd. Oh, okay, so Spotted Plague, I guess, is very defensive, plays late game. That's apparently what happens. I feel bad. I haven't seen Spotted Plague play in a while. I haven't seen them actually play in a while. Like, it's not even... I haven't casted their games in a while. I haven't actually seen games involving them being played in some time. And... Unfortunately, fighting commanders with only two units is not the best strategy. Yeah, Shaman at this point, I don't know why they're blaming lag, because right now they aren't actually that economically ahead. Like, Rar is... okay, they're reclaiming, that's partly why. But even then, their static economy, their energy is stronger, they're, they have some stuff in stores they can more easily use for production. They are pushing 17.5 metal in production, as opposed to 20. Okay, so it's about even that way. But that reclaim is going to help. That and, of course, spiders require that synergy. Until you get to crab, you need to have your venoms alongside anything else just to keep it, just to keep everything else alive, or to keep it more alive. I mean, boy and scallop against three hermits should go in favor of hermits, especially if the venom gets nearby. If the hermits tank the venom, that's the one thing. The hermits kind of have to tank this. If not, then good luck. But if so, then it might work. And in comes the forces. Hermit's coming in, not able, unfortunately, to deal much with the Venom. That, once again, the problem of that. Actually, this is where some fleas from the back would be nice. There are some, but not enough, sadly. How fast these units relative to each other, anyway? Speed, 51 Elmos versus... 42. So Hermits are slightly faster than boys, but only slightly.
Wait, R what's RAR's game? Orphelius is saying something about RAR using units from their game only that are slow and heavy lifting, but I don't know what game that they're talking about. Didn't realize RAR was a content developer. Anyway. Oh, I see what they're doing. That makes sense. They're going for a comm push. So RAR's doing the strange strategy, and Orphelius is the oh, sorry, Shaman's doing the one that Orphelius is just talking a lot. Shaman's the one who is doing, and I guess Hermits are not as powerful as I thought they'd be. My mistake. Okay, admittedly, I guess that many scallops. Hermits are half the cost of scallops, so that's not terribly surprising. Yeah, this is the point where Reckless would be kind of nice. Like, really nice. Yeah, RAR, just now getting to level 4. Slow beam, companion, slow beam, two drones, and machine gun. And repairs itself. Ouch. Gemini, on the other hand, really low in energy. That's a major problem here. If there's anything that's the major problem, it is the lack of energy. Causing all sorts of issues for Shaman right now. Nice stunning, but unfortunately not what they needed to stun. That's not the thing that's really going to cause problems. Although I don't think Rar's commander... No, Rar's commander continues to morph even while stunned. Can't build, but it continues to morph. I think that's a buff, actually. Yeah, morph at... Morph is increasing. It is morphing despite being frozen. So I'm being EMP. Which makes no sense. And Shaman's still having troubles spending all of their money. They're pushing 20 into the factory, but still having a hard time spending their money, and this. Well, going for the crab, going for the heavy the heavy guns, just why not? I still think Recklesses wouldn't be a bad idea, but Recklesses aren't the most accurate unit, so there's a reason not to do that. Redbacks would not live long enough to get close, which is why you wouldn't do that. And... Hmm. Other than that, yeah. Crab or Infiltrator is kind of the one thing you have in this situation. Kind of a tricky matchup. And not one Shaman seems willing to deal with. Okay, I... I'm sorry, I didn't expect that to be that short and kind of disappointing, but hey, comp push! Comp push is a thing that happens. It was a good comp push by RAR. Oh, I see. It's just a game that apparently is just something that has respawnable commanders. Not something I've heard of. Called Metal Factions. Okay. Anyway. So yeah, that was just... Spider versus Amp is kind of a tricky matchup. I think Recluse would have worked fairly well. I agree with Hermit. Like, I would have gone for Hermit myself. So, yeah. That wasn't a bad idea. But... I just felt like there wasn't enough being built. Like, there weren't enough Hermits. Or building more defenses. Also, Skydust has been nerfed, Orphelius. Not much, but it has been nerfed a bit. So, it's not the necessarily the be-all end-all, but I think it would have worked fine for the ranges in question. Nerfed slightly. You can't shoot more than 30 degrees down from level, which means there's a bit of a blind spot near the Spire if you do a Stardust Elevated. But I don't know how relevant that is. At any rate, we're not going to find out this game. We might find out next game, which is going to be on Archer's Valley between Flipstep and Flores, which was actually played about half an hour ago. And... Yeah, next one flips up in Florist. They'll be up in just a minute or two, so stay tuned.